There is a nationwide challenge taking place tomorrow that is asking all of us to experience what life is like without being able to hear the world around us. It's called One Day Without Sound Challenge, and we decided to try it a little early. Our co-worker Caroline starts her day here at WUSA 9, and she's greeted by noise. But today is going to be a bit different for her. We've decided to put some noise restraining headphones on her and introduce her to the world without sound. Can't really hear much. I can hear myself talking, but yeah, no background noise. Wisconsin Avenue. With limited hearing, Caroline has to be even more alert when it comes to basic tasks, like crossing the street. This can be dangerous for people with some degree of hearing loss. Even ordering a cup of coffee can be a task. Medium hazelnut iced coffee? Uh, medium hazelnut iced coffee. The staff at Bourbon Coffee serves hearing impaired customers a few times a week. But no worries, they have a system in place to make sure those same customers are in and out with a cup of joe as quickly as anyone else. They'll do a pause, and after they do a pause, they'll either write it down or they'll give their order up, and then I'll make sure that I'm not talking loud because it, they can't really hear you if you're screaming or yelling, so you just talk in your normal voice, but I tend to want to enunciate my words, so if they knew how to read, they can definitely just read my lips. They also have a menu for customers to look at and point to their selection. Back at the station. It's time to take a break, and Caroline has turned on the TV. Poor, unsuspecting girl who's soon going to realize that we're... Besides blasting the volume, she found closed captioning, which made watching the young and the restless much more difficult. So the closed captioning, it's like, it's good in thought, but I kind of was just focusing all on the text that was on the screen, and I really didn't see, like, any of the actual show and the characters. It's a completely different experience. Like, it's nothing like watching TV without these headphones on. It's totally different. It's just reading, basically. Wow, that this shows me how much we take sound for granted. Yes, yeah, joining us right now with more about the Day Without Sound Challenge and hearing loss is Christina Leonard. Christina, thanks for coming to the, uh, the Great Day Washington Studios. Thank you. Welcome. Good. Thank you. So tell me about this challenge. What this challenge is, is the Miracle Ear Foundation has created the One Day Without Sound to really raise awareness to those who might not understand what it's like to live with some sort of hearing loss. So you know, there's over 48 million Americans that have some sort of degree of hearing loss, and most of them don't even know it. Uh, so this day is really to challenge those who either have friends or family that might not understand the degree uh, that it really impacts those lives um, to take this challenge to wear some sort, sort of noise redu uh, reducing headphones um, or earplugs and to go, uh, it's actually tomorrow, May 31st, and we ask everyone to go and pledge on onedaywithoutsound.org and take the challenge to um, you know, see what they deal with on a daily basis. But you said most people don't even know that they're suffering from some type of hearing loss. What are some of the symptoms that they can look out for? Some of the most common that we see, at least in our uh, Miracle Era in Northern Virginia offices are gonna be um, people asking those to others to repeat themselves, uh, maybe playing the TV louder than others would like, uh, family members and friends notice that. Uh, also in background noise in places such as parties, social gatherings, restaurants, where there is a lot of that background noise, you will notice that those with hearing loss do suffer and they do have a little bit more difficulties uh, interacting in those sort of environments. And this doesn't discriminate as far as age. I mean, if you're exposed to like some really loud noises, uh, you can lose your hearing, right? Absolutely. So a lot of the most common uh, causes of hearing loss are prolonged uh, exposure to prolonged loud noises. It's going to be also, it's heredity and genetics. Um, if you've had ear infections as a child, as well as a lot of the uh, over-the-counter medications nowadays can take a uh, big toll on that as well. Really? Yes. Wow. And the, the loud talkers, do they have problems? There's some people that are really, really loud. Is that a hearing challenge? That, that is a one sign to a common sign of hearing loss. Uh, obviously, those who talk a little bit louder may not know that they're talking louder. And, uh, you know, family members and friends are able to notice those signs as well. But there's also things like um, power tools, using the lawnmower, um, that could cause damage damage to your ears, right? Absolutely. Anything, uh, any machinery that causes any high frequency, any loud noises, such as lawnmowers, leaf blowers, all of those kind of things can really, really take a toll on someone's hearing. So we do stress 
uh, as best as you can. You know, you always want to wear some sort of hearing protection if you're doing any yard work, things like that, where you're going to be exposed to that. Right, and there's a pledge uh, that's happening, right? That, that you Absolutely. Have. So tomorrow, again, May 31st, uh, Miracle Ear Foundation is asking everyone to go on that website, um, OneDayWithoutSound.org, and to pledge uh, for whether it be your friends or family to really take some time out of your day and step into the shoes of those that are dealing with hearing loss on a daily basis. And as you can see, it's. Um, you know, it, it is very frustrating for those as well as those around them. And there's a spectrum as well. So there's yeah. not j there's t total hearing loss, obviously the deaf, and there's you know anywhere between that. And we could fall in there and not even know. Absolutely, uh, 48 million Americans is actually the statistic to where, uh, and they said over a quarter of those don't even know that they have. That. Wow, that's so. amazing. I don't know if I can get through the workday without sound because we talk to each other a lot here Absolutely. as opposed to emailing and like as we saw in the beginning just scanning your card to get in the building there's a sound to let you know you can get in absolutely so good information Christina thank you very much thanks absolutely. for joining us today. thank you for having me